Today, we're going to talk about how you can get an online accredited cybersecurity degree from WGU, which has the NSA's Center of Academic Excellence designation in under a year for potentially under $10,000. This guide is going to be complete with very detailed explanations and strategies for each individual class in the form of Reddit posts. So people who have gone through the program already did write-ups for the individual classes on different strategies and ways that they approach the class. I kind of gathered all of these up for the guide. It's also going to include a section on how you can use study.com to transfer in really inexpensive credits to the program so you can save a lot of time and money that way and there's also going to be a section that has a whole bunch of free practice exams as well so this program has a whole bunch of third-party certifications in it like a plus network plus etc i'm going to provide a lot of free practice questions to help you kind of study for those as well actually this guide is designed to help you pass in around 280 days for under six thousand dollars or like a single term at wgu many people have done this already but it's it's pretty aggressive even using the strategy so i might recommend shooting for two terms um, which will end up costing around ten thousand dollars after everything is said and done and the good thing about this guide is you don't really need to spend any money in the beginning like most of what you do up front is going to be pre-study and like preparation on your part and you don't need to spend any money until you're ready to actually like start taking classes at study.com and even so that's not very much compared to WGU and when you finish that the majority like the big chunk that you'll spend is going to be toward the very end and at that point you'll have most of your stuff pre-studied and then you'll have a lot of credits from study.com ready to go anyway so you don't have like a lot of financial risk if you decide to change your mind or something partway through most of the money you spend is going to be at the end. I'm going to include this easy step-by-step -step flow chart that you can follow that kind of outlines how long each section will take and how much you can expect to spend at each step of the way. And while it's not technically required to have a degree to work in IT and cybersecurity, it's good to have one if you're able to get one without hurting yourself too bad. Like you don't want to spend, in my opinion, like 50K or something on a degree. But the way that WEG was set up and like this strategy to you know, accelerate and save money. It, it's not a bad idea to start working on it, especially to kind of pre-study and get the transfer credits out of the way for cheap. Then you can potentially save up and then spend the, you know, big chunk of money in the, in the end enrolling at WGU and then kind of getting the degree. So it's good to have a degree, right, for economic downturn. It's not required, but, you know, it's it's something I'd recommend trying to get at some point if you can. I put a lot of work into this guide. Like, the preparation took longer than average for this one. So if you could subscribe, I'd really appreciate it a lot. And I feel like this is one of those videos that's really important, and I just, like, want everyone to watch it. So just put on 2x and watch it to the end, and then share this with anyone who you think might want to get a degree or who's interested in cybersecurity help them out, help me out as well. So yeah, I'm getting right into the content. So before we dive into the flowchart, just an overview of WGU for those who don't know what it is. If you do, you can skip to this timestamp, but basically WGU, online accredited university, you pay for one term at a time, one term is six months, and you're allowed to complete as many courses as you can in that six month time block. So basically we're gonna take advantage of this by pre-studying a whole bunch of stuff. So we kind of know the material already. And then once you actually register at WGU, not only we're gonna transfer in a lot of classes from study.com, we're also going to be like kind of primed and pre-studied and we're going to be able to complete a lot of classes in that six month time period or that that term so technically you could be able to complete the the whole remainder of the curriculum in six months but i might budget for 12 months or two terms this degree also has about eight third-party industry certifications that's like a plus network plus security plus siza plus or sisa plus however you like to pronounce that pen test plus i i think it might have itil has like linux essentials and i, I think it may have like uh some other ones i might have missed but me and my team are building a lot of high quality practice questions for these exams we have probably more than half of the exams done already and uh, they might be all done by the time you see this but i'm going to include those as well so in, in addition to the course material that we're pre-studying we're going to pre-study those exams as well and the idea behind this is that you register at wgu and you have everything kind of studied already so you there's a very minimal study that you need to do once you're registered so you can just like be like bang 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 and like knock out all the classes um, at least faster than average. That's like the whole idea behind this. And the point of doing that is to reduce the amount of terms that you have to pay for and attend WG, like reduce the amount of time that you have to attend the school, if that makes sense. This will be quite a bit of work because, you know, getting a, a bachelor's degree anyway, it's a lot, it's a decent amount of coursework and it requires discipline and execution. Most of all, you have to be consistent and keep executing on it and, you know, follow through with your plan. But this is the most economically feasible 
like cyber security degree that I can think of, to be honest, it's, it's pretty good. So what we're looking at here, this is the flow chart to execute the strategy. It talks about like how much each step costs and then about how long each step might take along the way. So the first step being transfer, get with your WG enrollment counselor and transfer in any college credits that you happen to have. If you don't have any, that's okay too. Um, the next step, I would recommend going through the Google cybersecurity program. And there's a couple of reasons for this. First being it's delivered really, really well and it'll help prime your brain um, to kind of understand cybersecurity as a whole as it pertains to this program specifically. A lot of what's covered in the bachelor's degree, it's it's covered really well in the cybersecurity program. Not to mention there's like a seven day free trial you can sign up for it and then just do as absolute much as you can in that period. And if you don't wanna spend money, you can just cancel your account before then. But I would recommend finishing it. Another reason to do this is if you don't have anything, there are some enrollment requirements for the cyber degree, I believe. It's either experience or some kind of existing credit or having Security Plus or one of those certifications. So if you have this certification, I'm not sure if this will satisfy it, but if you get the Google Cybersecurity Program certificate, after completing that, you get a discount for Security Plus, which you can use to then get Security Plus, which makes you eligible for, for enrollment. So the next step, you're going to use this, and then we're going to take all of the applicable classes from study.com. We're gonna take those classes, complete them, and then transfer our study.com transcript into WGU, knocking out those classes. So basically what this looks like, these are all the courses um, this column are all the courses that you need to complete inside the program in order to, you know, graduate and get your degree. This column here are courses that you can actually take from study.com and then transfer them in. And the benefit for this is not only are they relatively quick, the, how, how can I say, like the, the stress to complete them is a bit lower. Um, I talk about it in depth in this video, how like study.com works and stuff, but basically most of what you do is open book and then the final exam is, is closed book. But if you complete the coursework, you know, the open book coursework and you get like a high score on that, you don't need that high of a score in your exam for the study.com classes to actually pass. So it's really low stress and it, it doesn't cost that much compared to enrolling in WGU as well. So it's good to knock out as many of these as you can at study.com, transfer them in, and then start enrolling at WGU. So basically what that looks like is if you complete all of your study.com courses, you end up with um, only 16 courses left to complete at WGU, if that makes sense. And also I do wanna say, you'll notice this strategy column here. So for example, I'll um, say we completed all of these courses from study.com already. I'm just going to like clear these out. And then we have, uh, these are the remaining classes from WGU, right? And then you see the strategy column here. This is basically, um, I looked up on Reddit for each one of these classes to see what people were doing to pass the class and exactly like how long it took them to pass. So I don't necessarily want you to compare yourself to these people and be like, okay, I got to pass this class in five days. I got to pass this one in one day. It's just letting you know like what's possible. Like if the class is like, you know, stupidly like cumbersome and like too big, it's likely that someone's not going to be able to pass it in one day, right? So it just gives you an idea of how long it will take to pass the class. So basically like how you would use this, say you register at WGU and your first class is in introduction to systems thinking. You would click on this link right here and it would open up this strategy guide. And then it will highlight, it brings us to like introduction to systems thinking. There's no study.com transfer for it, but the, there is a strategy that somebody mentioned in Reddit. So you could click on this link and it will open up the Reddit thread where they kind of talk about what they did uh, in order to pass this class in five days, if that makes sense. So I pretty much did these for every single class and you'll notice some of them, um, You'll notice some of them take longer than others. Like these are like the actual third party certification exams. And you'll notice they kind of take a, a decent amount of time, which is why we pre which is why we pre-studied with the practice exams before enrolling, right? So we want to like if we pre-study these, we we can reduce the amount of time these take by quite a bit. So if we add all of these up, you know, after transferring in our classes from study.com, we have like a sum of 222. So if we're able to like 
complete the classes in the same time that these people did, it will, this phase should take us 222 days. But if we pre-study like the third party certifications, um, it will definitely take less time, right? It just depends on the quality of our study and like the amount of time we dedicate to it and everything like that. So again, all every single one of these, what is this, emerging technologies, every single one of these will link to um, this spreadsheet or this uh, document, and then you can look at different um, strategies that people use for each class. Highly recommend doing this. If you really want to like min max, you could like, you know, read all of these strategies before you even enroll. I don't know if you have to do that, but that's what these are. So I got a bit sidetracked, but back to the flowchart. Um, after you complete all the courses at study.com and transfer them in, now is the time to actually register at WGU. And this is where you spend that first big chunk of money. Um, as of right now, a term for the cyber program is $4,265. So it's good, you know, that we pre-studied and we transferred in a bunch of stuff from study.com and we took the Google cybersecurity program because we have like a, a pretty good idea of at least the fundamentals of cybersecurity. So we're really prepared to spend that, you know, $4,300, $4, right? So at this point, of course, we would register, get with our enrollment counselor, register, um, transfer in the remaining stuff from study.com. And then we could kind of use this spreadsheet along with a strategy to um, think about how to pass each class. So basically what happens like when you register, your your um, mentor will assign you three classes and you can just work on them one at a time. So if you get like, you know, introduction to IT, I would recommend going to the spreadsheet, you know, going to the, the introduction Oh, here it is the introduction to it strategy and be like okay like how did this person pass this class like what kind of strategy did they use um, it's a bit better than going at it blind because maybe there's like certain tips and tricks they give you to help you understand the material better or a better way to study for it or something but no doubt this will increase or rather decrease the time it takes you to pass each class and then decrease the time that you're spent enrolled at WGU, thus decreasing the amount of money that you pay in the end. And in the end, you should end up with a nice bachelor's degree. If you were enrolled for one term at WGU, like you were able to like bang everything out on one term, you'll have spent around $5,800. And if you ended up taking two terms, it will spend, uh, you'll have spent around $10,000 or slightly more. The total time potentially between 280 and 365 days, of course, depending on how fast you went in your pre-study and, and stuff like this. And in the end, after you graduate, you're going to end up with a resume that looks something like this. I'll go ahead and put a link to this in the description if you want to copy it and use it as your own. But basically, this is a bachelor's degree that you got from WGU. I just added this free class from MITx. These are all the certifications that you get in the program that um, some of the classes require you to get these certifications and the cost of these is included in the tuition. It's really nice. This will give you a lot of uh, resume hits, right, for um, applicant tracking systems and when you apply to jobs, right? And I do recommend putting some kind of projects on your resume as well as manufacturing some experience for yourself. So you can do this for free, for sure. Um, I have some videos that talk about different cybersecurity projects that you can do, and I have a video on how to make a portfolio, so check those out. If you're okay to spend extra money, I have a, a nice quality hands-on cybersecurity course. We do a bunch of stuff in the cloud. We set up like a, a, a SIM, well, a whole miniature sock and a honey net, and we deal with live attack traffic from people on the internet attacking our stuff when we practice incident response, a whole bunch of stuff in there. There's also an internship component um, if you want to do like extra stuff and have like internship experience on your resume. Definitely check that out. Check out this video out. Um, check this video out as well. A bunch of people have gone through it. It works for sure. And then kind of the rest of the stuff here um, where you can put your previous experience. I kind of recommend, um, I have this whole theory about resumes. Watch this like God tier resume video. I think it will help. Uh, it will save you time for me just like explaining everything here. Definitely check out the God tier resume video and definitely download this resume as well if you want to use it. Again, don't forget to check out the link to the flow chart as well as this WGU to study.com master spreadsheet. Not only do I have the cyber degree in here, I have every, like, every single degree program at WGU, like how many transfers you can do, um, how many third party certs are included in each degree program. You can kind of see a lot of people are, are using it already. So definitely check out these resources. Um, I think it will help. I think the way that this strategy is put together to reduce the cost upfront and then, you know, 
put everything toward the end when you're like ready to spend the money like you've done the work already i don't know of like a better way to do this to be honest and a cheaper way to get this high quality of a cybersecurity bachelor's degree um so yeah let me know in the comments if you have gone through this already and you've completed it in one or two terms definitely want to hear your experience about it but yeah thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video